Okay, I'm going to go ahead and video the uh, results from the TEFL by just talking about the responses given. Um, let's see, I was given a well done. You can now progress on to the next part of the course. The following qualities of a good teacher have been discussed in the course. Personality patience. Um, she says, uh, well done, you have named two essentials qualities and made some per perceptive comments. Okay, let's go back to that. Um, well done, you have uh, named two essential qualities and made some perceptive comments. Self-evaluation and reflection are also vital in creating a successful language learning environment. I find it very helpful to evaluate each lesson on completion. Both the good and bad points of the lesson. By doing this, we can learn by our mistakes and improve on our success. Next question, number two, was about uh, the following uh, methods have been discussed. Grammar, uh, translation, direct method, auto, lingualism, audio, communicative approach, presentation, task-based learning, lexical, and eclectic. I answered eclectic, and she says, comment, yes, the eclectic approach provides the most flexibility and allows you to draw from the best of all of the other methods. It's up to you to choose the approach you will lean towards as you mix and match. Think about your students' needs and preferences when you are deciding what to place the emphasis on. That's where your questionnaire comes in useful. For example, the communicative approach will suit students living in an English-speaking country or those needing English for travel or work. Some students study English for purely academic reasons and may prefer the grammar transla translation method. Of course, different individuals will have different specific needs. So you need to give them individual attention. However, your general direction will be determined by the needs of the majority of the students. And then below I made a chalkboard about going shopping and uh, uh, buy, bought, sell, sold. She says, comment, good effort, here is some help. You may wish to use the indefinite article to indicate countable nouns. A plastic bag, a magazine, make it clear that bought is another form of buy and sold another form of sell. For example, buy, parentheses, bought, sell, parentheses, sold. For clarity, I would break the vocabulary into three groups, verbs, items, and containers like this. Going shopping, buy, bought, sell, sold, go shopping, went shopping, some rice, some potatoes, some sugar, a magazine, a plastic bag, a can opener, a can of tuna, a bottle of wine, a carton of milk. So I would break the vocabulary into three groups, verbs, okay, going shopping, buy, bought, sell, sold, go shopping, oh, okay, went, go shopping, went shopping, okay, go shopping, buy, bought, sell, sold. Okay, so we got that, and then moving down, now write a clear uh, how you would use color visual aids, charts, and diagrams. Comment, yes, different colors do help students to differentiate between verbs and nouns. Well done for using visual aids to illustrate the nouns as this means there is no confusion. confusion. You could also use a timeline to indicate whether the verb is in the past or present. 
Okay, going down now, this is about how, when we're watching a DVD, how do you want the rows of chairs? Watching a DVD, I said, horseshoe. And she says, good, there's all sorts of useful exercises you can do during a video. Pausing and recap recapping is necessary with lower levels. 